Today I'm gonna to show you how to make smoky mushrooms and how to put it all together to make a quick and easy meal. Hi everyone, I'm Tammy. Welcome to the Nutmeg Notebook Kitchen. So today I am making smoky mushrooms. These are gonna be baked in the oven and they are absolutely delicious. So I have one pound of baby portabellas and I've just sliced them. I have also used the large uh, portabellas that you can get like at Costco and I have cut those up. So just, you know, about a pound. You can make more, you can make less. Sometimes I'll only make um, half this amount. So you can adjust accordingly. So just get those sliced up and you could probably use any kind of mushroom that you have. If you have the white button mushrooms, go ahead and use them because they're gonna taste delicious. So I have a quarter cup of this California balsamic. This is the um, smoked hickory. I love this stuff. It is absolutely delicious. Now, if you do not have this vinegar, um, if you live out of the United States and you cannot get it, don't worry. You can use a different type of balsamic vinegar. Now, it's best if you have one that's like the 4% acidity, like this um, Napa Valley Naturals Balsamic Grand Reserve. So this is a thick, syrupy, sweet vinegar. It's only 4% acidity instead of 6%. And then to get that smokiness, just use a little bit of smoke liquid. So how much do you need to use? That's gonna be up to you. So start with just a drop because it is pretty powerful and then add more as needed. And it's up to your personal um, preference on that. And then I'm just going to get these mixed in. I want them to be coated with that vinegar so that my seasonings will stick to them. And oh, let me tell you guys, these are so delicious. I absolutely love them. So I get asked quite a bit what brand of spices that I like. And you know, there's certainly lots of good brands out there. My very favorite is Local Spicery. These are milled in small quantities. Um, they're super fresh and the flavor is amazing. So in here, I have a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. If you don't have that, you could probably also use some smoked paprika and a little bit of red pepper flakes. And then I also have half a teaspoon of powdered mustard. And so I'm just gonna add those in. If you don't like the heat, from the chipotle uh, chili powder, then leave that out. Maybe use the smoked paprika. And the smoked paprika might also fill in if you don't have the um, liquid smoke because it would give you that smokiness. And so I just wanna make sure that I coat these really well. I'm preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I am not using convection. I am just using the regular conven conventional oven for these because the um, if you tried to do these in the air fryer or in the convection oven I think they will dry out too much and we want them to remain nice and moist okay these look great so I have just lined my baking sheet here with parchment paper and I'm going to pour them out on it Just do this and I'll spread them around and I want to get all that yummy liquid from that balsamic that's in here. I don't want it to go to waste. We want that to flavor these mushrooms. And then you're probably wondering, well, what do you do with them? Well, you will be amazed. You'll want to pick them off the tray when they come out and eat some because they're so delicious. But you can put them on your veggie burgers you can put them on your salads. If you make like a Buddha bowl, a nourish bowl with your favorite grain and some greens and some beans, then add uh, a couple scoopfuls of these mushrooms and they just add so much. And I love them in my chopped salads as well. They just add a wonderful texture. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so amazing. 
And so I'll just, when they're done, once they've cooled, I'll put them in a glass container with a lid and put them in the refrigerator and then I can eat off of them for several days if they last that long. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of freshly ground black pepper over the top and that's just to taste however much you like or leave it off if you don't like black pepper. I know some people are allergic to it even, but I happen to really like it. Okay, so now I'm just going to put them in my oven. I'm going to bake them for 20 minutes. At the 10 minute mark, I'll just go in and stir them a little bit, make sure that they're cooking evenly and I'll pull them out and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, here we are. This is the finished product. As you can see, you guys, they really shrink down. And so, um, you know, it looked like it was a really full tray when we started. So I did go in at 10 minutes and just stirred them a bit and um, just to make sure that everything was getting done and cooking together. And then I just gather them up and I put them in a dish. Oh, they smell so, so good. These are fun. So I just um, developed this recipe one day when I had so many mushrooms left over that I needed to do something with so that they wouldn't spoil. And this is just a great way um, to save them if you have that, but you're gonna wanna even use your fresh mushrooms to make this as well. So while the mushrooms were in the oven for 20 minutes, cooking. I'm going to show you what I did so that we could assemble our dinner. So I batch prep salads once a week. I do 14 of them. Once in a while, if we end up going out or something one day, we'll have one or two left over. And so I will just pop them in a a freezer bag and put them in the freezer. We don't use any lettuce in them. We have a whole video about that. So I took one of those out and I uh, sauteed some onion first and then I added that frozen um, bag of veggies and I added a little bit of super greens to that and some, um, I cut up a little bit of bell pepper and I had some tomatoes that were starting to get old. They were a little bit puckery and that just means they're starting to dehydrate. There's nothing wrong with them. And I threw those in here and it plumps those back up and this tasted so delicious. We do this all the time. I didn't have any beans made from dried beans so I opened up a can of black beans, can of garbanzos. Here's our um, smoky mushrooms that we made. And then this is oat groats. And I had just cooked these. I batch prepped these in the Instant Pot and I'll link to the recipe for that as well. It's not so much a recipe as it is a method. And I actually use these in a savory way. They're a little bit chewy, a little bit nutty, and um, we love them and they're great for reducing your cholesterol. So I will take some of those. These will be my grain tonight and add those to this dish. I love these dishes. I got these at Williams Sonoma. They're from their like pantry collection. And then I'm gonna add some greens and a lot of greens. So if you're in weight loss mode on a plant-based, whole food, plant-based diet, it's a good idea to adhere to the 50-50 plate. That means half of your plate 50% of it should be non-starchy vegetables and the other half can be starch. Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. Then I want to add some beans to this. We love beans. And the more different varieties of food that you can get in, the better it is for your gut biome. And all of this has a lot of fiber. There's a lot of soluble fiber here with all of this. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then these beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. These are like the crowning touch, let me tell you. They are absolutely amazing. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a topping to this. 
Um, you could add, I have a lemon here. I'm gonna squirt some fresh lemon over it. Um, I don't use salt, and so the lemon kind of gives me a nice brightness to it. And um, I love that little bit of acid and tang. You could add um, a flavored vinegar, like this garlic vinegar would be good. If you have my ranch dressing made, I was wishing I had some made tonight. If you have my ranch dressing made, some of that would be good. I'm going to um, put some freshly ground black cumin seed over the top. It does not taste like cumin. It tastes more like black pepper. And it's also good for um, cholesterol. And then um, a little bit of this fresh lime juice over the top. You could use salsa, all kinds of things. It'll be absolutely delicious. I see a little lemon seed got in there. I'm gonna pull him out. And there you go. This is a quick and easy, beautiful meal all made inside of about a half hour, actually, if I take into account cutting up those mushrooms. That's how we do it. So I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one meal at a time. Please like and subscribe to my channel and visit the blog at nutmegnotebook.com for the printable recipe for the smoky mushrooms. See you next time.